Hello friends, today I'll be giving you the top 10 movies making good play the sexy girlfriend or friend. At number 10, Deliver Us From Eva. In 2003, Megan played Jackie Dandridge, a hairdresser who's working her way through college. Jackie is the wife of Darrell, played by D'Artagnan Edmonds. Not only did Megan play the hot wife in this movie, she was also one of four of the sexiest sisters ever in a movie. Movie rating, 8.9. And the moments you all have been waiting for. Beautiful has arrived. Oh, wait. At number nine, You Got Served. In 2004, Megan played Beautiful with two L's. The best friend Aaliyah, played by Jennifer Freeman. Beautiful had a boyfriend named Lamar in the movie, but they never showed him. Movie rating, 8.3. I want a man who's already made it. Please stop being such a snob. Be more open-minded. You're just saying that I should lower my standards? Yes. yes. At number eight, Jump in the Broom. Next, in 2011, Megan starred as Blythe, the best friend of Sabrina Watson, played by Paula Patton. Although Blythe was single in this movie, she had an unexpected situation with the chef, played by Gary Dorden. Oh my god! Hi. Is everybody okay? Um, I was just making some sauce. Hi. My helper. Movie rating, 8.2. At number seven, Waist Deep. In 2006, Megan starred alongside of Tyrese Gibson as Coco. O2 and Coco needed $100,000 to get Old Son back from Big Meat, played by the game. So the two decided to rob every single bank in sight to come up with the money. Movie rating, 8.5. At number six, Think Like a Man. In 2012, Megan played Maya, the girlfriend slash wife of Zeke, played by Romani Malco. After having bad relationship after bad relationship, Maya decided the next guy that she's interested in, she's not gonna sleep with for 90 days. Movie rating, 8.6. At number five, 35 and Tickin. In 2011, Megan starred as Felinda, the sexy girl next door that Cleavon, played by Kevin Hart, was drooling all over. Everything was going good for Cleavon and Felinda until... I don't know what happened to you. I ain't seen you on Monday. On Tuesday, we almost went bankrupt without you being in here. <laughs> nice. Oh, hey, Cleavon. Nice. This is a new girl. This is Felinda. Felinda, that's Cleavon. Movie rating, 7.9. At number four, Roll Bounce. In the 2005 movie Roll Bounce, Megan starred as Naomi, the teenage heartthrob to all the boys in the movie. X, played by Bow Wow, was struggling with the loss of his mother, so he continually pushed Naomi away until he couldn't resist her charm anymore. Movie rating, 8.8. .8. At number three, The Cookout. In 2004, Megan played Brittany, the hot maintenance sexy gold digging basketball wife of Todd Anderson, played by Corin Pender. After Todd gets drafted to the NBA, he meets Brittany and moves to the suburbs. But Todd's mother wanted him to stay humble and continue to live the simple life, so Todd decided to have a cookout with all his relatives. Movie rating, 7.8. At number two, Stump the Yard. In 2007, Megan played the fine April Palmer, girlfriend of Grant, played by Darren Henson. But after DJ sees April for the first time, he knew he would stop at nothing until he made April his girl. First, by humiliating her boyfriend in a dance battle, then by finessing the system so April would be his tutor, then finally taking her out dancing. Movie rating, 9.1. Damn. Damn. And at number one, my favorite movie on the list, Biker Boys. We all can admit that Megan Good is always looking fine, but she was on another level in this movie. Kid, played by Derek Luke, sees Tina at a Black Knight event and decides to go for it. Anyway, my name is Kid. You want a medal for that or something? I just want some conversation, that's all. Just a little conversation. But there's only one problem, Kid. What's that beautiful? I don't converse with prospects. After that, Kid decides to ditch the prospect vest and start his own biker club and get the girl of his dreams. Not only does Kid make Tina his girlfriend, he moves all the way in with her. Movie rating, 8.7. So, in what movie do you think Megan Good is the finest? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, please like and subscribe. As always, it's your favorite neighborhood movie critic. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time.